Hey folks, it's Borders here. I'm back with another Figure Force video. This time I'm taking a look at some vintage mask. It is going to be Gator and the Raging Cajun himself, Dusty Hayes. Here's a wee man himself, Dusty Hayes. Now, these mask figures have five points of articulation. The head can move, your arm can move, you've got a leg that moves and a bend at the knee, which allows them to fit in their vehicles. And every mask figure came with their quote-unquote mask or I guess it's a helmet, let's be realistic. A helmet that does have the air holes in it to stop children of the A's from killing themselves because the original mask figures didn't have that and their masks were a lot smaller. If you ask me, I prefer these ones compared to the, the ones that did um, come out originally. Now taking a closer look at Dusty, you can see there's a little bit of paint wear here and there, particularly on his glove um, and on his face sculpt and the goggles there and a wee bit at the back and to be fair he's in pretty good nick for a figure his age there's a lot of these little mini mask figures that are just paint weird to fudge and to be honest they either got to need a new paint job or you're better just replacing them with a better looking one from ebay or a collector place i guess all right let's take a look at gator one of my favorite mask vehicles this vehicle is from wave one and it just screams 80s. It is a Jeep, of course. What makes it 80s? Those brilliant stickers. That is absolutely fantastic. The chrome on this has kept amazingly well, especially on the front grille, but especially on those wheel trims. That is absolutely in brilliant condition. The tires are rubber and are in excellent condition, no splits or breaks. And if I bring that in there, Try and focus on the sticker on the dashboard. Bring it a little bit back. There we go. Again, and this has been kept in tremendous condition. I think this was a loft find for the seller in eBay. And I'm quite happy for it because <laughs> if it was kept in a loft, it's been kept stored very well. In this mode, Gator really only has one gimmick, which is this gun. That folds up. You've got this here, but this is for the hidden secret agent spy mode, which you activate by, first of all, pulling back so we can get an effect here. We just lift up the top of Gator's chassis and voila. All right, the second mode of Gator is this speedboat, which is the, the sort of hidden spy mode, if you like. It's decked in this wonderful plastic orange You've got this rubber bit at the front, which is kind of used to hide it when it's in the Jeep mode. I love this steering wheel, it's very Knight Rider-esque and you can get a better look at that sticker now. Wonderful detail and all the stickers on this again are preserved. You've got the mask logo here and you've got the jet propulsion sticker at the back. This is a depth charge bomb, which you activate by flipping that. Now it's pretty pretty light which is why it's easy to flip just a nice bit of hollow plastic but again the chrome in it it's a little bit more scuffed up than the others but it's still aged remarkably well so just pop it back in and then if you wish this is when you get dusty and you can pop them in can't quite sit flush in this one for some reason in this vehicle um, I think it's because you've got, which you can't really see, there's like a a bit here which kind of blocks him from sitting in right. So he always sits at a bit of an angle, but you can get him in there and, you know, that doesn't look too bad at all. Well, there you have it, folks. That was my look at Gator and Dusty Hayes. It's a brilliant vehicle from the mask line. It's not one I had personally when I was growing up, so I'm quite glad to be able to track one down and add it to my collection. 
Do be careful when picking up mask figures to make sure that their functions work and they're not missing pieces. When it comes to Gator, look for the black bar there as well as the silver depth charge bomb that I showed you in the video. Those are the two pieces you need to look out for as they're commonly missing when it comes to eBay auctions. And one last thing before I go, Figure Force now has a Facebook page as well as a Facebook community page. What I'll do is I'll post a link to the community page in the description below. Please do join us, come and share your figure memories, be they old, new, even new figure purchases. Join the rest of us there and have a wee chat. And as always guys, thank you very much for your continued support to my subscribers new and old. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and you like this sort of thing, please do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and notification bell as well. I'd really appreciate more people coming on board with myself and the other Figure Force guys. And as always guys, until next time, please be excellent to each other.